Emily, we're in for a chiller tonight, aren't we? Oh my gosh, yes. But, you know, I'm not one to complain about the cold weather. You guys hear me harp on it all the time that I am a cold weather gal. Yeah, <laughs> I, listen, I like the hot cocoa. We actually had some. Yeah, we did. Earlier this evening. Yeah. And I like to turn on the heater. I just, I just welcome it. Oh yeah, heated blanket, pack it on. I want all the layers. All of it. <laughs> well, you're definitely gonna need the heat uh, tonight. And I'll tell you why, if we can go ahead and jump out uh, to our graphics. The Tennessee Valley is under a freeze warning. But with the exception of Giles County, this is gonna last until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So once again, freeze warning for the entire Tennessee Valley. And here's why. Temperatures going to be dropping below freezing for some of us. We're expected to be in the lower 30s, some of us in the upper 20s uh, for the overnight tonight. So here is what I'm thinking. 29 in Fayetteville, 30 in Pulaski, 32 in Florence, and it does look like uh, the eastern side could see upper 20s as uh, well. So it is going to be brutally cold tonight. I want to step off so uh, I can give you guys some uh, tips. Obviously, the three P's, you all should know them by now, but Obviously, protect your pipes. You'll want to unhook your outdoor hoses uh, from faucets and wrap exposed pipes with insulation. Protect your plants. Uh, bring your potted plants indoors, and if you can't do that, uh, just move them closer to the house and cover them with a, a blanket or a, a sheet of some sort. And obviously, bring your pets inside, folks. Don't, don't leave your cats and your dogs outdoors because it's going to be brutally, brutally cold tonight. Good news is, though, we're going to warm up into the lower 60s for the afternoon tomorrow. I'm expecting us right around 61 for the high temperature. Going to be a comfortable afternoon. Some of us waking up, though, could see some areas of patchy frost. But all in all, it's going to be a beautiful Sunday out there. Our Fox 54 radar right now is quiet, and we're going to stay that way for the next few days thanks to this guy down here to the south. Southwest high pressure system going to take control and keep us dry, sunny, and even warm heading into the next uh, few days. And that uh, shows on our rain chances. We're going to be dry through Wednesday. And then it looks like we're going to do this all over again. We'll have a cold front come through Thursday, bring in our next rain opportunity and even bring in uh, the chance for uh, some cooler weather once again. So seven day forecast looks like this once again for tomorrow 61 for the high temperature going to be a cold morning out there. 32 degrees 35 expected for your Monday morning commute 55 for the high temperature on Monday. Notice though we're going to warm back into the lower 70s for your Wednesday will be above average once again. But Thursday, like I said, that cold front comes through. We're going to see some cooler air moving with the rain. Uh, so Thursday going to be our greatest opportunity for rain here in the valley. And then it does look like we'll warm up back into the lower 60s heading into your Saturday next weekend. So all in all, not going to be a next uh, bad seven days. Like I said, we'll be dry through Thursday, cold front and rain on Thursday. And then it does look like sunshine will return uh, into the end, the very end of next week. Kanisha.